So maybe just to start us off, what do you see about how this evolutionary perspective changes our understanding and our practice of spirituality? What is this new evolutionary spirituality? You know, it's so interesting, Craig, that I became spiritual through my understanding of evolution. And it was the awakening in me when I was in my early 30s, after I'd had five children and feeling somewhat depressed because I didn't know how to express what was within me, that I read Teilhard de Chardin. And I had a conversion experience which was that this impulse in me to be more, to grow more, to participate more, to connect more, was not a neurosis, as was the Freudian interpretation of of me, the housewife with the five children. Actually, it was the universe within me evolving, that I and all of us are subjectively feeling the impulse of evolution which has been running through the billions of years of evolution, but without the entities being conscious of the impulse of evolution. And through Teilhard de Chardin, my conversion to spirituality was an actual experience that the deepest essence of my motivation is what I think of as the core of the evolutionary spiral, is the implicate order, the God consciousness, And the words here are not good because a lot of the old words that we've used are too narrow, even God and spirituality, because what I felt about evolutionary spirituality or evolutionary consciousness is that I and we are evolution incarnate. And that that beautiful phrase of Tom Attlee, I am the face of evolution, Evolution shows up like you and me, being conscious that we are evolving and consciously cultivating it as part of a dynamic, universal process of creation, way beyond our current knowledge, but an understanding that it leads to more conscious life. Beautiful. 